Hope everybody, you know what I mean, chillaxing and shit this Friday. I'm feeling a lot better than last week. Nigga was sick, couldn't tell if y'all motherfuckers could notice or not. But I was fucked up out here. How we looking back there, bro? I got an announcement to make to the world. For those who don't follow me on the regular, waiting for it to queue up right now. Feeling real good. Feeling real good about educating the world and people catching on to what the fuck I've got you. What I'm trying to put y'all on to out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm introducing you motherfuckers to some shit that you probably should have been to a long time ago, but you ain't had the right old heads in your life. You ain't had the right niggas to school you to the game because they probably some simps they motherfucking so. Or playing something that they're not. It happens. It happens. I can't even see uh, what's going on on my side. Oh, Yeah, man. But it's all good, though. Because they don't know what they see. They see me. I'm waiting for this to get queued up. Making my announcement take long as shit. It's up there. Um, you're not going to be able to see. Uh-huh. But if you... Uh, you might want to go to your Facebook on your phone. Let me see. Yeah, my joint dying. I need that joint for other shit. But uh, basically, <laughs> let's let's just get it the fuck out the way and stop making shit more difficult than it gotta be. Yeah, Slimer is in a fucking urban dictionary. You know what I'm saying? We letting y'all motherfuckers know what y'all are out here. And it's been set in stone. Or HTML, whatever the fuck. You know, web pages are motherfucker. <laughs> Instead of HTML, nigga. Y'all fucking slimers. Started in the streets of North Philly. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You fucking feel me. So today, outside of the fact that, you know, we got y'all slimers on motherfucking notice on watch, I want to talk about child support. Yo, that child support shit, I ain't gonna say it's like fucked up completely. Cause I mean, on some real, if you if it's to the point where you gotta force a nigga to take care of his responsibility, I don't really got respect for that motherfucker anyway. Fuck him. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Whatever happened, happened. But if a nigga is making an effort. To be in his children's life and do whatever you gotta do, how the, you gotta be a fucked up individual to think that it's cool to have this man's freedom possibly in the balance. Anything can happen dealing with that shit. And it's like, with all of that spite that you got towards him and fucking him, it's like, that's still your child's father. Now I'm talking, like I said, I'm talking about motherfuckers that actually make an effort to be in a child life. Not a nigga you gotta force to do something for Christmas for those of you who celebrate that shit and all that. You know what I mean? Like, it's a difference. It's a difference. I just feel like that's, it's, it's, it's fucked up. It should be like certain measurements to that shit. Like, if you got a motherfucking track a nigga down, like, where is Waldo? Fuck it. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And some people don't believe in the period. They, they say they don't want to get, you know, the man involved into this, that, and the third, but... A nigga should be a man from the gun bus, you know what I'm saying, and not even have to have you think about shit of that nature. But just because a nigga, y'all like y'all done broke up and all of that shit, that's some that's some nut ass shit. I, I will never get that, and I mean, hey, I guess that's the world, you know what I mean? Wherever motherfucker can get their perks, they gonna get their perks. Now I can't see what y'all saying this week because you know shit a little different, and I ain't bringing that joint up on my phone. My shit about to die. It's about to die. <laughs> but no, nah, man, that, that, that shit be fucking me up when I, I talk to brothers that I see, obviously, they're in that child's life, like, make a huge efforts, but they deal with that child support shit. And it's like, man. And I, and I ask them a real nigga question. I be like, yo, on some real shit, man. Like, I mean, because they already still doing things outside of the child support to support their kids. Financially, whether it's showing up to games, whatever the fuck the case may be. You know what I mean? It's all types of shit. Do, do you feel like you would give them more if you weren't on it or less? And they, they be honest for the most part. You know what I mean? Like, 
No, nobody said more. Nobody said they would give them more, but they didn't say they would give them less either. It's, it, it depends on, it depends on life circumstances. Cause sometimes, man, that that money that you that they just took out that nigga check, man, that nigga could be suffering. Like he can't even go see his son because he got other shit that he dealing with, and now that he, you know, what I mean, he can't even use that time to spend with his son because he got other financial shit that he trying to catch up with. Because you want to be a bitch. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. But like I said, I'm not against it. Yeah, you know I mean, if you gotta force a motherfucker, but you you gotta you gotta gauge the person you dealing with, man. Don't take advantage of a good person. That's that's corny as shit. And that's not what we about. We not about taking advantage of good people. We about fucking over fucked up people. Cause fuck it, if you fucked up, you already know what game you in. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a nigga in the streets and shit. Like, when a nigga in the streets gets shot, like, I'm not gonna say motherfuckers don't be sad and all that, but they also don't be surprised and shit. Like, nigga, you was in the streets. Now, when little Percy with the book bag and shit coming home from college, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got too much going on. He always got his hand in the book. That nigga get shot, shit, a lot of questions get asked. It ain't no, it ain't no... We're not, it's, it, yes, it is a fucking surprise. We're very surprised. We're, what was he into? Was he at the wrong place at the wrong time? It's like, you know what I mean? We're, we gotta we gotta gauge who we dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And that's real shit. And I, and I honestly, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an advocate for that. They need to come out with them cards to make sure that whatever you buying is really for them fucking kids. It ain't no, no cash so you can get nails or hair or no dumb shit like that. I think that is very, very necessary because, I mean, hey, it's for the child, right? It's child support. It's not, you know what I mean, get your nails painted and then go fuck a nigga at the club night tonight support. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not it's not what it's called. Now, this is a subject that always, always fucks with me. I know I said it before. I, I touched on it slightly on one of my podcasts where... They talk about how women mature faster than men. I want to get into that shit. What the fuck did that really mean to you? Because a lot of motherfuckers out here took that into the context of they are smarter. Like they grow up in a, like, a, like a mature state of mind faster than we do. Fuck to the motherfucking no. When they saying shit like that, they talking about body development. Yeah, you know I mean, they get periods and shit when they like nine and crazy shit like that. It ain't no motherfucking no, no, no. Don't let it go that far, cause ain't nothing mature about getting cheated on and keying up cars and doing petty shit. Ain't ain't nothing mature about petty shit. Period. That's why real men, or at least people that they hold like males that are held in regard. As real men aren't petty, if you notice it. Because petty is a very fucking immature trait to have. Yeah, you know I mean, niggas say fuck you real quick. Fuck you real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. So uh I'm 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 good on that mature faster from an intelligence standpoint. It's not intelligence. You gotta go deep into that word of maturity and shit. They be on like 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 they like fucking Pokemon's like they evolve real quick and shit. Yeah, you know I mean, and they out there catching them all, catching all the niggas for they fucking money. You know what I'm saying? They learn real quick how to fuck you out of your money and shit. That's the maturity, the trickery, the trickery on your hickory dickory fucking dock. You know what I'm saying? But don't blame me for speaking the truth. Blame the world for letting it be like this. For allowing a bitch to say a nigga did something and automatically this nigga's whole life is ruined without investigation. Just because the bitch said it. Just because the bitch said it. That's not mature. That's not a mature move to fuck a nigga's well-being up that may possibly have a family and so many other things going, like, you know what I'm saying? And don't get it fucked up. 
I'm not saying it ain't bitch niggas out there. That's why we call them bitch niggas. They exist. You know what I mean? And some of y'all unfortunately decide to take him seriously. But on our end, as men, we are taught that we have to be the bigger person while a woman runs damn near rampant, probably throwing like fucking child tantrums and shit. And I'm just supposed to just sit there and take this shit, right? The fuck out of here. You got your motherfucking mind. That sounds like the most sick shit. I, I'm not gonna hold you. If anything, that probably come from the single mom era. That's probably the shit that, you know, we were taught in our era and shit. I don't know. Like, it, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that it's cool to, you know, place hands and none of that, but I'm also not saying that it's cool to motherfucking disrespect on both ends. You know what I mean? Whether verbally or physically and shit. You know what I mean? You can't think it's mature to try to emasculate somebody that you supposedly, I hate, I, I know people hate the word submit, but you call this person your man. You call this person your man. But at every fucking turn, you're emasculating this man and shit. For small reasons. Small reasons. Some shit, I ain't gonna hold you. Some niggas do it to theyself. And once again, if that's the motherfucker that you decided to call your man, that's, that's still some self-reflecting that you're gonna have to do on you and your decision making. Cause decisions play a part in everything. Even when you're a kid and you don't have full authority over, you know, how your life is set up, you know, cause uh, you know, you live with your parents, whatever the case may be. But even as a child, you can make a fucked up decision that affects you for the rest of your life. I was watching a documentary with, with you know what I mean, at home about kids that, like, you know, did some old weirdo shit. You know what I mean? But I'm going to just keep it at that. They did some old weirdo shit. And that's going to follow them for the rest of their fucking life. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know if you expunge baby rapists and shit. I don't know if they get expunged. Even if you're a juvenile or not, you dangerous. You know what I mean? You made a, a dangerous decision and you acted on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit is real. And y'all can't be mad at motherfuckers for the decisions that y'all make. See, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm not angry about certain shit. So I haven't been angry about certain things before. Yeah, I mean, if anything, it's, it's disappointment. It's disappointment. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like, I know, you, I know you could be better than that type of shit. You know what I mean? I talked to my mom. And I told her, I'm like, man, the worst thing you did in all actuality wasn't really a bad thing. It was a good thing. The worst thing you did was set the bar too high because your mother is your first teacher. You know what I mean? When, when you were a child, before you step onto the world, you know, for those of us who, you know, had a mother, whatever the case may be, you have this idea that every woman that you meet out in the world is going to be along these same lines. And when I stepped out into the world, I didn't see that. Like, a lot of y'all bitches don't even take baths and shit. You tripping, bitch. You have a pussy next to a asshole. Listen to that. Your pussy next to a asshole. Soak that motherfucker in a bath tub. You know what I mean? You standing up, washing your shit, like you got a sack and all that. No, bitch, you got a lot of different orifices that you gotta take care of. You know what I mean? I grew up watching my mom take baths. That showed me cleanliness. I see a lot of these bitches don't do that. That's a strike. I grew up watching my mom read and educate herself. A lot of these bitches don't wanna read. They wanna watch love and hip hop twerk and say, hey, like what the, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like basically I, I wanna sit there and go through the whole fucking list, but I just see a lot of Differences and lack of real self respect. That's like, what the fuck? I'm supposed to respect you when you don't respect yourself. That's what you expect. It goes both ways. That's just like me as a man wanting a woman to respect me when I'm not taking care of fucking business. Whatever that business may be, as a man in that relationship. Like, you, you gotta be fucking crazy. You can't just want respect because you got a motherfucking dick in your pants. You know what I'm saying? 
what the fuck you doing when you walk out there and you put on them pants? What you bringing back home before you decide to take your pants the fuck back off? You know what I mean? A lot of that shit matters. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about, you know what I mean, putting women down or this and the third. It's, 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 it's behavior. I, like, I, I can't sit here and act oblivious to whole ass fucking behavior. You know what I mean? I didn't see that shit growing up. Not from my first teacher, I didn't. I seen it from you whores. Out in the world and shit. And once again, this goes into, it's, it's crazy how these subjects is fucking segue. For y'all so called good women out there, stop defending these fucking whores. You know what I mean? I understand the little women empowerment bullshit. Y'all take y'all titties out and kumbaya and all that dumb shit y'all do. But look, man. That make you a lame bitch to me. Or damn near whore. Like, just because you're taking up for her. Like, it gotta be something hoary about you to be fighting with this bitch. That's like me taking up for, like, okay, he's a man, but this nigga is, is a fucking child molester. I'm not gonna stand behind him because he's a fucking man. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. Pop. No, this nigga's a fucking weirdo. Just like that bitch is a fucking whore. You know what I mean? What the fuck are you fighting for her for? You know what I mean? Now, okay, you want to be on some, you know, we are human beings type shit. That part I understand. I ain't trying to lynch the bitch. We ain't fucking leaving her at the goddamn, we not stoning her in front of the community. We just fucking letting her label be what it is. You know what I'm saying? We all, every one of us out here is some kind of fucking adjective. Yeah, you know I mean, what you want? What you want to walk around the world as a fucking blank? You want to be a blank asshole? Huh? You want to be a bar? Blank asshole? No. You want to be something. And I need y'all to stop defending these horrors. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's like, how are we going to be able to choose which one is the right one if you're fighting with the whore? You know what I'm saying? I, I, now you are forcing me to believe that you a whore too. It's not my fault. It's your fucking fault. You did that shit. And it's not cool. It's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Because once again, like I said, the shoe's on the other foot. Even down a lot of, let's take it, let's take it down a lot of notches. Fuck, fuck the uh, child molester shit. Even down the deadbeat dads. I don't got one homie that's a deadbeat dad. And if he was, I wouldn't respect him. Like, I would all, every time I see him, like, I, I don't know how long we would be friends because that nigga would fight me eventually and not want to be around me because I'm going to keep coming at his manhood and not stepping up to his responsibility. You know what I mean? That shit I take seriously. I take responsibilities seriously. You know what I mean? Because that's what men do. They take responsibilities seriously. Because shit is real out here. We have our fun. We definitely have our fun, but we know that even fun, like you can have a little bit too much fun, especially if your fun calls. If your fun got you in the bar, spending like 200 a day, unless your lifestyle is conducive to you losing a lot of money and it not hurting you, you, you draw on, bro. We have our fun. You draw it. Real shit, man. I always been the type of motherfucker that like think about like the next. And when I say the next, I mean like my next best move. You know what I'm saying? Like I once again, we have our fun. Have your fun. But don't be over excessive. You can overdo anything. You can even fuck too much. And we all love fucking. You can even drink too much water. You can actually drink too much water. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you learn in life that, that that balance, that middle, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. That 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 top, you can be over the top. You know what I'm saying? So, next. That brings me to where do you see yourself in the next five Slimers? Not the next five years, the next five slimers. And I say that because a lot of you motherfuckers, I'm talking to the niggas now. Y'all gotta stop busting willy-nilly in these bitches, man. K-9 
Because, I mean, you obviously don't be ready for that responsibility that come with it. You barely even know this bitch. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, in certain instances, I understand why some motherfuckers is on child support. You know what I mean? I do. I do. Like, once again, going back to decisions. When you make decisions, some of these decisions you make, you might have to live with for the rest of your life. And I would definitely say a child is one of them because motherfuckers talk all that 18 shit. Nigga, that 18 shit don't mean nothing. You know I mean, especially if you on that, you know, child support shit. Say your kid go to college, like that shit gonna stretch a little bit longer. And then that dog, at the end of the day, that's your fucking kid. I'm not saying like you you got you gonna pay all their bills and shit, but like you gonna be there for your child, right? Or it's just oh it's they, you 18 now, uh the, the world is yours, like, you know what I'm saying? Come on now, you gotta be real with yourself. That's a lifetime fucking commitment if you're actually like a real parent. You know, we we, we talking to the real parents and not the the irresponsible dickheads out there. You know what I mean? And that's why a nigga like me, I ain't got no fucking kids. I ain't got no kids. Because I enjoy being selfish. I love my selfish ass fucking life. I be I love being able to get on this podcast, call y'all bitches whores, and not have to look a little kid in the face when I get home that supposedly supposed to look up to me. Fuck that. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not trying to be no fucking good example yet. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm still trying to wild out in these streets. That's what the fuck I deserve. Because I ain't got no responsibility. I did that for myself. I pulled out of them fucking horrors. You ain't getting my seed fucking up my life, bitch. You know what I mean? That's playing chess. Bust it on a fucking chess. That's playing chess. I ain't never see a pregnant titty. Come in a fucking mouth. I ain't never see a pregnant throat. I ain't never see a pregnant taste bud. None of that shit. You know what I mean? Fuck having a goddamn kid. I ain't got time for that shit. You know what I mean? Because you don't know why, for me, same reason why I've never been to prison. I never got locked up for nothing. Have I done things in my life? None of your fucking business. You know what I'm saying? But never been locked up. You want to know why? Cause I don't want no, I don't want to be at the mercy of a motherfucker. And I feel like, like I get a bitch pregnant, I'm at this bitch's mercy. They always want need shit, want shit, get lazy as shit, need me to do shit, getting fat as shit. I ain't got time for that shit. No time for fake ones. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. And I feel like as fucked up as it might sound. That's some real nigga slash responsible shit. Why the fuck would I have something I don't want? If you had, now we talking about choices now, cause you know I had a choice, just like a lot of you motherfuckers had choices. You got a million dollars in your pocket and you in a car lot. You, you, you gonna walk away with a used piece of shit with a million in your pocket, now you do, and you do it for, you know, smart financial frugal reasons. Okay, I understand that. But if you could get what you want, why wouldn't you? And it's not going to hurt you? Why wouldn't you? Why would you not treat yourself? And I need to treat myself to not having no extra fucking miles to feed. Not having no fucking, oh, thinking they're going to have me by the balls. Like, I'm not a real nigga in these motherfucking streets. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? You hear me? So where do you see yourself in five slimers? Is that going to be five baby moms later? Or are you going to be smart and keep a rat on your motherfucking... Your shit, my nigga. Real shit. Keep a rat on it. Or pull out. It ain't hard. No pun intended. You know what I'm saying? Because you're fucking yourself up. Fuck yourself up. Unless you're praying like that, my nigga, you fuck yourself up. Are you gonna stay with the bitch? Something. You better be a fucking family, because in this day and age, niggas is not winning in court at all. Unless you, like, this bitch is like on 80s crack. She gotta be on 80s crack, and even then, like, they might still bring the kids to her. Like, man, a lot of kids grew up with crackhead moms. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have to prove this bitch is a monster to get your fucking kid. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. 
But I want to uh, bring something up for y'all, y'all fellas. You know, I I I know y'all might feel like I'm being difficult on y'all, but I just I'm just tired of y'all being bitch niggas in these streets. You hear me? This shit bothers me. It bothers me. And what I said has come to pass. I told y'all niggas about commenting on these horse pictures that ain't sucking your dick at the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? Screenshot even made it bad for the DM shit. Unless that bitch is on your dick, fuck that bitch, bro. You looking stupid out here on the field, son. You not scoring. They getting all the touchdowns and you even missing field goals in this, out this bitch. You even got a good kicker. Mr. Engineer, can we, can we play that video, please? Niggas are going crazy over this. And this bitch still got a tube TV in the background, nigga. Y'all going crazy over this woman right here. Read, look, read the comments, man. We gonna start. Fuck this. Oh, yeah. We gonna go and look at some of these dudes' pictures. I ain't never seen no shit. These niggas, all right. I want y'all to read some of these fucking comments, man. This girl got a lot of comments. It's your boy Trag on here. This don't make no motherfucking sense. Hold on. Look, wait, wait a minute. What the fuck did Fred? What did Fred say? All right, nigga. And we can hold on, nigga. Clifford. The fuck you talk, Clifford, nigga. This nigga's definitely on the sex offenders list right here, boy. This nigga be in front of Best Buy looking for electronics with his dick hanging out, don't he? Looking ass nigga. A grown turtle looking ass boy. This don't this this shit is crazy. We can go through we can go through some pictures now. Yes, juicy boobs. Who is this? Kaboom! Looking ass nigga, boy. God damn. These nigga, nigga, if you don't, boy. This nigga at bingo. Looking for some pussy on the internet. Somebody come get. The fuck kind of name is that, nigga? Look, look, look at these comments, man. Come on, let's read them together. Look at this shit. Look at these comments, man. Nigga. And they going crazy over that girl. Uh -huh. That girl's a Kmart warehouse working bitch. You hoes. The thirst is real. Men ain't used to shit. Y'all see these comments up here, boy? Shit. This, this nigga, this Vampire Brooklyn Part 17, ain't it? This nigga has no type of future in his face or nothing. This nigga ready to risk it all, ain't it? This is some disturbing ass shit. Look at this shit. Fuck this. Nigga. Nigga. Damn, Snoop, <laughs> Snoop Dogg done upgraded like a motherfucker, didn't he? Right, no, God damn. The god of Snoop Dogg right here, ain't he? For Boy, shizzle. if you don't get your damn. For shizzle. God damn. God damn. Damn! This shit is real. This shit is fucking real. And I told you niggas. I told every single last one of you niggas some weeks ago. Stop commenting on these fucking bitches' pictures if you ain't fucking. You make a regular conversation. Even that. 
If the bitch ain't talk to you first, fuck it, all right? Fuck it. She got to be on deck. They got to give signs that they on your deck. You want to be a go-getter? It's cool, because in this jungle, the men seem to be the chasers. The male is the chasers. But women chase in different ways. Sometimes through signs, sometimes they be right the fuck at you, depending on you. I mean, where you at in life, you know what I mean? For real, for real. Some bitches be right at you, especially that. You know what I mean? But y'all, y'all, y'all fucking yourselves. And it's gonna be more and more niggas like that finding y'all old comments on these horse pictures, getting no responses, no buts, nothing. All of that time that you wasted typing to that oh could have been spent on a bitch that's already on deck. AOD, already on deck. You gotta understand the importance of that. You gotta understand the importance of somebody that sees the value already in you, opposed to a bitch that you gotta jump through fucking hoops of fire for and play this fucking circus game like a fucking clown that you is! You fucking clown! Don't you see? She ain't nothing but a fucking skazer? Don't you see? Shit pissed me the fuck off, man. Y'all out here doing this shit to yourselves. Now, granted, some of you motherfuckers got no chance. No chance! No chance in hell! I understand. But that's why we have prostitutes. Back in the day, men went to see prostitutes. They, they had to save up money because they were lame niggas. You know what I mean? Save up your money. Don't put yourself on the internet and look bad like that. Go fuck a real professional whore. Not these new age fucking chat line goddamn fucking like emoji whores. That's a different whore and shit. You know what I mean? Unless they're on the proper website, a proper money, giving out the proper motherfucking situation, that's not the right whore, dog. Like, you know what I mean? You got the, the gold digger whores. You got the regular whores, you got the irregular whores, you got fucking uh, premium whores, you got diesel whores, you know what I'm saying? All of, all, all of them whores. All different fucking kinds, shapes, sizes, all of that. All out here. Ready to give you them fucking yams, bro. To a point where you do not have to go through these channels of embarrassment. I know for sure a couple of them niggas on that video was somebody grandpa. Somebody, one of y'all grandsons is, oh man, that nigga's at school with his head down every day. He probably don't get no bitches because of you. Because he got you in his blood. How could you do that to your fucking children? I don't even got kids. I told you that. But... I actually care about what you're doing to yours because I'm on the outside looking in with an opinion because this is America. That's what everybody do. Nobody know what the fuck they talking about over here. <laughs> yeah. This shit is beautiful. This shit is beautiful. I always, always waited for a nigga like me. To have a show. To teach the world about these fucking slimers and the do's and don'ts. Because this shit is important. This shit is important to your attributes, to your future. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, you always at your best, male or female. You always at your best when you go in the path that best suits you. Now, I know in traditional culture, they say that the woman may, you know, follow a man's lead or whatever the case may be. I mean, I'll say this much. I'll say if that's what the fuck you want to do, cool, as long as that suits you. That's why I don't come at nobody with no fucking fake shit. 
You got to know what the fuck it is so you can make your adult decision to fuck with a real one or not. Because that's what I say. There's a large percentage of motherfuckers that rather be lied to. And that's cool. That's cool. I guess you want to be fake hurt and shit. Maybe you need a Mary J. Blige song in your life. I don't fucking know. Like, whatever whatever your brain chemistry, however it works to make you feel like that is normal or that's cool, then that's cool. Shit. You know what I mean? We all wired a little bit crazy. We some fucking times. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I just want you to know, I'm not saying because you're a whore, a hoe, or whatever you are. That you're a bad person. I'm just saying that you're not going to get over on me. That's just all it's about. I know you're a human being. You're a human butt. I know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, th- th- this is what it's all about. And for you simps, for y'all, I just need y'all to stop fucking the game up, man. Because all of the nut shit that y'all niggas do, Bitches uh, try on a, a real nigga, and now I got to get out of character to remind her who the fuck I am in these streets. All because she got used to niggas like you. It's your fault. I can't blame no hoe. I can't blame no hoe. You know what I mean? Because her environment molded the hoe that she is. And her environment was around niggas like you. That couldn't control your urges. Couldn't control your comments. Was on your Urkel and Laura shit. My nigga, that's not Coolio. It ain't. It's not. So, I actually already covered this subject. It was, it was, it was making better decisions. Like, that was going to be the subject, but, you know, fuck that, John, now. Fuck it now. You know, I think we already covered that. We covered a lot of things. We covered these. These bitches in slime. Yeah, because I mean, that's what the fuck they are. We covered these bitches in slime already. And, and, and uh, that, I, I, we, we gotta go back to that, because that shit is legendary. That, that, that shit is legendary. Now, they didn't put out the actual true creator of Slimer. You know what I mean? Shots out the, you know what I mean? Hotline to the dollar sign. North Philly Bando Block, you already know. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Shit be real, man. Like, we, we, we create out here. We creative people. We are the original motherfucking man in these streets. That's where we come from. I mean, you think I don't know my history? You think, all, you think my brain is just filled up with hoes and whores? Fuck no. Fuck no. I told you earlier. You know what I mean? That's, that'll be fucking me up with a lot of bitches. Like, that lack of education. Like, and even, like, okay, it's one thing to not have the education, but to even not even want it. Especially if it's free. Like, free game, that's love. Everybody be trying to get shit free. You know what I mean? Somebody, 10 minutes with the right motherfucker could change the next 10 years in your life. On some real shit. And I, I, I'm going to share something with y'all. I ain't going to write this down as a subject, but it's just like where I've been at lately. Just because of certain things that happened in my life because either generosity, pity, whatever, however you want to put it. I don't want any more or any, well, any more or any at all broke friends. Nobody broke. I can't hang around nobody that's broke. Because I'm not broke. And that's one thing. If you was up, then you fell on a hard time and shit, but like, that, that's something different. Like, but when I say broke, I'm talking about also like, you know, lack of ambition other than just money. Like, all of that shit. Like, some motherfuckers will really bring you down and like, because you cool with a person or whatever the case may be, you overlook certain shit. But I'm telling you right now, that's, not always in your best interest. A motherfucker will bring you down. I'm not even saying that they will, that they're that's necessarily their intention, but it happens. Some motherfuckers be like a black hole. They just suck you in and shit. You know what I mean? Like we always talk about, you know, energy 
and how real energy is. Like, that's real shit. That's real shit. Like, a motherfucker will suck you in. Go, like, okay. You can have a friend that's into things that you're not into. And one day that you spend with this person could cost you a possible jail sentence and shit. Because you were there or whatever the case may be, they try to pin things on you. Like, that's, that's just real shit. That's real shit. So, I just got to the point, man, I don't, I don't want to hang around broke people, man. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't. Yeah, you know I mean? I don't be giving bums change no more. Like, fuck you, you bum-ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about your life. You know what I mean? I don't know if it just happened to him or what, but I don't know. I just stopped caring, man. Because, like, some motherfuckers, man... It'd it be different when you know them and know their story. You know what I'm saying? Because like when you know a motherfucking story and the type of dumb shit that they do that led them to that point, you know why they at where they at. You know what I mean? And them same motherfuckers, uh, just like them people in the streets, that have this crazy ass story as to why things are the way they are or what way it is outside of their own accountability and at whatever actions they took in the matter in the first place. I mean, it's never their fault. It's never their fault. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect that shit, man. That's one thing I notice a lot about a lot of broke motherfuckers, man. They don't take accountability for shit. Like, the whole world is against them. I don't need to be around that type of shit. Like, I know a lot of motherfuckers make me feel like my podcast is negative energy. It's a lot of bitches that won't watch this shit just because the commercials and shit that I put out, all that shit, whatever. And that's cool. I can't be mad at that shit. It's going to catch you the fuck it's going to catch. But that's how I feel about broke motherfuckers, man. They they always need and shit. They always got side stories. Like, nigga, you're going to be broke the next day. Like, even if I let you hold something today, how you going to eat tomorrow? Like, you're going to keep being fucked up until you're not fucked up. I don't know what got to happen, what lottery number you got to hit. But, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't got time for that, man. I need, I need to be around people I can learn something from. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd rather be around motherfuckers that's doing better than me. Like, honestly... Motherfuckers that look at me like I'm broke. They probably don't even want to be with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? They know I'm soaking up game from them and shit. Like, you know what I mean? On that type of time. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not saying like, you know, like straight up they don't want to be around me type of shit. But like, just doing better than me. The motherfucker I can learn from, man. I, I can't learn from no bum, dog. I, I'm tired of learning what not to do. Because I kind of already fucking know what not to do. I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? It's like no fucking bum. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I I need to be around motherfuckers I can learn something from. And you definitely ain't learning nothing from no fucking slimer neither. Don't forget I don't think I forgot about you fucking whores. Yeah, I'm back on you now. Back on y'all for the last little bit of motherfucking minutes of the goddamn podcast. Yeah you know I mean bitches really think a nigga like me gonna cash up some some butt twerk money. Like like, it ain't all the... What, man, man, why the fuck are y'all niggas doing that? Like, it, it, it gotta be because you think you're gonna fuck. Because I don't understand why people pay for porn. Like, porn is free as shit. Why are you... Like, like, you, like, is this, like do you pay, cash up this bitch for the twerk and, like, she twerk her way to your fucking crib on your gat? Because I don't get it. And it absolutely is tricking if you got it. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. You hear me on Grand Theft Auto, when Franklin goes to the goddamn strip club, he's losing money on this whore in that club. He got a lot of it in there. You played the game. He got a lot of it, but it's still dwindling on a butt. It is tricking if you got it. You gave it away. You could have did a lot of other shit with it. You could have left it for your kids, 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 kids. Kids did a lot of shit with that. I ain't hearing it. It is tricking if you fucking got it. But I'll say this much. It is my own opinion. Some people may not agree. I don't think it's tricking if it's your lady. If it's your lady, I don't think it's tricking. I mean, that's your shorty, whatever. You know what I mean? But if you spinning bread and hopes to get pussy and keep getting pussy from whatever bitch, like, you, you, you kind of you tricking, bro. You know what I mean? Like, 
it, you know, you can have a bitch on the team that you're not, like, constantly dropping checks on. Like, it, it's definitely possible. I know a lot of you niggas don't believe it. But it, it's, it's, it's very possible, man. It's all about who you are and how you present yourself. Because you people find value in company. You know what I mean? It, it depends on who you are. You know what I mean? And for the, for the bitches, I know, you know, company don't pay the bills. You do if you own one, bitch. Ha! Ha! Stop trying to smart me, whore! Stop trying to smart me! It's not gonna fucking happen! I appreciate everybody that, you know, been tuned into the Just Call Me Sway podcast. You know, dropping their knowledge. You know, letting these whores know the truth. And that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I, I can't stop. I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm already all the way in. Like, how the fuck can I turn back? I fell into the volcano already. I'm on fucking fire. You know what I mean? Magma is burning my motherfucking everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out here. Y'all saw my face. You know what I mean? The bitches know me. You know what I mean? I can't even sneak out of, like, niggas baby mom's cribs no more. You know what I mean? Everybody know me. Everybody know me. You know what I mean? I'm famous as shit in these streets, man. For telling y'all about these horrors. Because who the fuck else is going to do it? So, you know, just like any other time, you know, we want to definitely dedicate, you know, this show to the legendary Iceberg Slim. Rest in peace. You know, we appreciate his articulation into the game of these motherfucking horrors and how... Being a good nigga just ain't ain't what it's hitting for for a lot of the, the majority. That's where we as men gotta be picky. Cause, you know, fuck all that playing innocent shit. You know what I mean? A lot of these bitches are sneaky. And if you don't think so, then be a bitch. Be a bitch ass nigga and get hurt when you find out she's sucking some nigga dick behind your back, on her back, giving up back. Yes. Repeats. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real. This shit ain't hard to remember. This is everyday shit going on. You know what I mean? And I just don't want you to find out the hard way. That she take it the hard way. You know what I mean? She's a seed chucking, weave chucking, overall smaze bucket. And ain't a fucking thing gonna change it. Not a fucking thing. Not as long as um, the earth is still spinning, revolving on its axis, or whatever the fuck they said in science class. As long as that shit going on, these bitches gonna be horny. I don't understand what the fuck y'all understand. Yeah, you know I mean, this ain't no new shit. Yeah, you know I mean, how many of y'all watch Spartacus? Remember that joint Spartacus and shit? Blood is saying, remember what they used to say? Whore or coin. Whore or coin. You know what I mean? Either it was, it was the whore or the coins. It was whores back then. So what the fuck make you think that whore ain't gonna stop in 20 whatever? Even in the year 3000, it's gonna be robot. There's already robot whores. There's robot whores out there. You know what I mean? At one point in time, the bitches were scared of the dogs. No, y'all wasn't scared. I'm bullshit. That <laughs> bitch wasn't scared of no fucking dog. Motherfucker was talking shit about it, though. Motherfucker was talking shit about it. But just think about it. Pretty soon, competition is going to be thick. I'm talking like pinky thick. You know what I'm saying? Shit is going to get real. And if you ain't prepared, Best believe, artificial intelligence is really going to be sliming the shit out of you. Because them bitches like calculators smart. If these regular holes is getting over on you, wait until the robot holes step onto the field. You know what I mean? These bitches going to know your passwords already and shit. They're going to be smart as shit. Smart holes. Like you got a smartphone, you have a smart hoe. 
technology is a motherfucker. Well, I just want to end it on this note. What's a hoe? Always a hoe. Before Christmas time, don't let it snow. Because I don't feel like shoveling and shit. And I be having to help people and I don't feel like doing it right now. Have a nice, nice night. Pause. That's it. All on the